Hey Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. Keep in mind that this message is for any Pisces placement you want to check in on, not including but not limited to your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Maybe you have Pisces in the first, second, third, eighth houses. It doesn't matter. You're welcome here, as are the cross watchers. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. Pisces, keep in mind if you happen to see this message um, after the second week of July 2022, that's okay. It just means you were meant to hear this message at a later time. All right, spiritual team, what is the overall energy for my Pisces people over the next seven days? What is the overall energy for the next seven days for my Pisces? What do they need to know? Okay, we have frustration. This came up for Libra and Scorpio. If you have any of those signs in your chart, definitely take a look at those readings. At the bottom of the deck, we also have fear. Okay, interesting. Also Pisces, I would just recommend checking out your other placements that you want to check in on in general. You don't have to just watch one, you can watch all of them. That could give you a better idea of what's happening over the next seven days as a whole. Um, frustration and fear. There could be frustration in a situation for you guys that is stemming from a place of fear, but let's get into the tarot and see what's going on here. Um, Spirit, what do my Pisces need to know over the next seven days? Okay, what messages do you have for my Pisces? We have the star reversed, queen of swords reversed, three of wands reversed, queen of pentacles reversed, seven of swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Okay, Aquarius energy here with the star card. What's under the seven of swords? We have the suspended one reversed, three of swords reversed, nine of pentacles reversed. Very interesting. Um, it's interesting also that we have two queens here. This could represent two people, two different situations, two aspects of yourself. Okay. What I'm really getting is from the Seven of Swords reverse. Someone needs to be honest with themselves or someone is going to be honest with you or you're going to be realizing a truth about something. Okay, it could have to do with these two queens. Maybe you weren't really seeing things clearly in a situation with two people. Um, one person could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Another could be a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be... They could also have these signs in their moon placement. Something to keep in mind. This is kind of a harder one to decipher for me personally, Pisces, because what I'm overall getting here is someone was either self-delusional and couldn't see things for what they really were. Maybe you had like a difficult time seeing the truth of a situation because you were afraid of it not working out the way that you wanted to, or you were afraid of being right about someone or something. And I know that sounds really weird, but sometimes like we overlook things because we just, we want things to go right for once, or we're hopeful that things will go right this time. Um, so there could be a lot of frustration for you this week because things are turning out exactly how they were supposed to play out and maybe you're even a little frustrated with yourself that you didn't let yourself see this coming or maybe you did see this coming but you just chose to ignore it does that make sense i know that's not an easy message to hear or receive um trust me i've been in situations like this too where i just chose not to see things or i chose to ignore things um because sometimes we second guess ourselves or we try to give people the benefit of the doubt, right? But, you know, sometimes it's just, it's hard. It's hard. Life is hard in general, right, Pisces? We're all human just trying to figure it out. Um, but yeah, the suspended one in reverse here underneath the Seven of Swords. It's like you, you kind of were refusing to see the red flags. You were refusing to take a pause and say, hey, is this really, is this really what I want it to be? Or is it just, is it what it actually is, right? 
So I do see a little bit of healing for you this week as well, um, or at least trying to heal. This could have been something or someone that you would really put a lot of faith into that you were relying on maybe a little too much as well. You put your faith in someone or something and you really shouldn't have. You thought you were healing an aspect of yourself. Maybe you were healing an aspect of like paranoia or fear or um, betrayal. You know what I mean? You thought you were healing this and you thought you were, you know, learning to look past people's flaws and give them the benefit of the doubt, right? But I feel like for a lot of you, it's like, yeah, you've done the healing, but now you you find yourself in a very similar situation. So now you kind of have to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and move on from this one. There could be a lot of, um, hmm. for some of you, I'm getting the Queen of Swords in reverse as being you, because again, with frustration being here, it could come out in the way that you talk to somebody uh, can come out like in an argument. It could come out with you being really uh, nasty to somebody. But I also feel like a lot of you had kind of gotten yourselves into the situation because of a fear of not having stability. So maybe this is you in a job situation that is, I don't know, not really giving to you what you give to it, but you took it because maybe you thought you needed the money or you thought that the money would be worth it, right? It could be something like that. Now, again, it doesn't have to be that for all of you. It could be something completely different. It could be maybe the stability of a relationship or it could be the health of a relationship or the health of your body. Maybe you joined a gym that you thought would be a good fit for you and it turns out it's a really unhealthy situation. I don't know, take what resonates. It could literally be anything for you guys. So just intuitively take the pieces that resonate for you. It's not gonna resonate for everybody, but just use your own intuition to kind of decipher this message. Overall though, that is what I am seeing for you guys with the tarot. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the Oracle deck section of the reading. And since we do have a full moon in Capricorn this week, I wanted to take a look at the Moonology Manifestation Oracle to see what messages come up for you guys. Spirit, what additional messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Pisces for the next seven days? What additional messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Pisces for the next seven days? Let's take a look. All right, we have new moon and Scorpio go deeper. Okay, yeah, so that's the suspended one in reverse here is you guys not really seeing past their surface or choosing not to see past the surface. Um, yeah, recognizing the red flags. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the full moon and Taurus detoxified. It's definitely a time for you guys to either remove yourselves from the situation or you know start setting up boundaries in a certain situation as well but for a lot of you guys i feel like this is a situation that you're not happy with at all so for a lot of you you may be finding a way to leave it completely okay take what resonates let's move on to the final deck of the reading which is going to be the tea leaf oracle now keep in mind that the messages from this deck could be related to what we've been talking about thus far or it could be completely unrelated it's just additional things you need to know all right, spiritual team, what additional messages do you have for my Pisces for the next seven days? All right, let's move on to the other half of the deck. I do split it up because it's quite big. Um, Spirit, what additional messages do you have for my Pisces for the next seven days? What additional messages do you have for my Pisces for the next seven days? All right, nothing from this deck or this half. There we go. There's something. All right, let's take a look. We have the filled chair. Someone new is entering your life. Okay. Someone new is entering your life. That could be a good thing if you're walking away from someone. That was not a good fit for you. We also have the elephant. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Okay, so again, for a lot of you, this is just another lesson that you are kind of going through. Okay, to kind of make you better, stronger, faster, smarter. Let's take a look at what's at the bottom of each of these piles. We have the ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. 
Yeah, that's what I got from the Queen of Swords reverse. I don't know if that's you or if that's someone else, but it could be. It could be someone else or it could be you. Doesn't matter. Take what resonates, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have the heart, love, deep affection, and caring. So for some of you, this could also be a romantic situation, okay? Pisces, that is what I'm seeing for you guys over the next seven days. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. If you want to see more content from me, I am on Instagram, TikTok, and I also have a blog. All that info is below in the description box, as is my website if you want to schedule a personal reading. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!